Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Is Yapo Ojo officially married? Ojo recently shared lovely photos of herself, a man, their kids on her official social media platform and the family celebrated. In fact, almost all Nigerians are happy for Yabo. Many people are commenting that unlike so many of our colleagues, Yabo Ojo did not go and steal another woman's husband. A man, Polo, is a single father. He has two kids of his own, and Yapo also has her own kids, two kids as well, a boy and a girl. Since they unveiled their relationship on social media platforms, this couple has been entertaining the public. And today, Yapo just shared an interesting post. She shared a photo of a man. With the caption, see fine Bobo still in the market too. We are DME for application. Polo groom price has gone up. However, Ama replied and said, I need a divorce lawyer urgent. Of course, this was just a joke because the actress also left a comment on one of the blogs who picked this news on their platform. And she stated clearly that she was just joking. This the actress very well now has been talking about how she might give marriage another chance. She had been previously married. She got married at a very young age, at the age of 21. And she has stated over time that it might be because she got married at a very young age that that marriage did not work out. In fact, she had said that she had tried her best to make that marriage work. But according to her, her ex-husband did not understand her kind of love. In fact, she confessed that her ex-husband had told her that he had gotten married to her only because she got pregnant. She gave birth to Festo Sojo and said she was running from one church to another church and praying that the marriage would work out. As she was doing this, she became pregnant again and then gave birth to Priscilla Ojo. However, she confessed that all hope was lost and she could not hold on any longer and had to quit that marriage. Currently, her ex-husband lives in the U.S. This actress was previously known as Alice Yabo Ugundo, and ever since she separated from her husband and eventually they got a divorce, she has not gotten married to another man or even publicly claimed another man until now. So when did this duo tie the knots that we did not know about? Well, obviously they might have opted for a secret wedding, just like so many entertainers are doing these days. Because even Paulo's daughter referred to Yabo as stepmother. In her message to Yabo when she was celebrating her 45th birthday, she had said that the movie star is smart and beautiful while appreciating her for helping her in so many ways. And her words were, I don't even know what to say until Yabo. You're smart, beautiful, strong and determined. The list could go on and on. I love you so much. You have to help me in so many ways, and I appreciate you. Today, we shut down Lagos. May God continue to bless you, stepmother. And in the comment section, the actress retreated her love for you. And she wrote, my love, I will love you forever. At this moment, our kids are already adults. In fact, they already completed their university degrees and doing well on their own. They have their own businesses. Our daughter, Priscilla Ojo, is one of the top social media influencers in the country. She has lots of much watching endorsement use and huge following on social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. And apart from this, she is also an entrepreneur. She has about two to three businesses. Though she had been teasing us for a while now, yeah, but finally unveiled a new man. And this new man is not a newbie in the Nigerian entertainment industry. In fact, he's one of the big shots. His name is Paul O. He shares the same name with a popular Nigerian singer, Paul Okoye. So he goes by the name Polo. A little bit about Polo. Paul Okoye was born on 21st of April 1967. He's a Nigerian event promoter, talent manager, record executive, philanthropist, and a businessman. He's currently 55 years old, so he's 10 years older than Yabojo and he's from Anambra State. He has been active in the industry since year 2002. He's the CEO of Upfront and Personal Global Management that manages Kiss Daniel, Dakure Edusan Kondi, Techno, 
in your ear, flavor among others. Brother and Niger housemates, Meseke and Erica and Larry Redu are also under his management. He was the manager to former Nigerian national football team captain, Jiju Kucha. Multinationals among its clientele in Nigeria include Pepsi, MTN, Nigerian breweries, Samsung, Nike, Hennigan, Hennessy, just to mention a few of them. He facilitated the Davido, Techno, Bonaboy, and Tiwa Savage Pepsi deals. He also facilitated the Bonaboy Stalaja deal. He was part of the team that cemented Techno's deal with Sony Music. He's the organizer of the One African Music Fest, the show that takes African music to the diaspora, and it has been held in the UK, US, UAE. The show has fintech company InterSwitch as its headline sponsor and the airpiece as its headline sponsor. It has had the performances of artists like Miss Kid, David Doe, Bonner Boy, Tubaba, Tiwa Savage, Techno, Zlatan Ibile, Olamide, Harmonize, J. Priest, Akoti, Vanisa, MD, KC, Diamond Platinums, Busiswa, D12, World, Cranium, Flavor, Bella Schmoda, Rema, Kwake Se, Tome, DJ Spinal, DJ Copy, DJ OB, DJ Exclusive. is a 50% co owner of the record label Cartel Music. Techno owns the remaining half. Okuye partnered with Multi Choice during the COVID 19 pandemic. Apart from giving out relief materials and raising funds for people affected by the pandemic one way or the other, they also hosted a televised Hope for Africa concert. Apart from the music performances by singers such as Tubaba, Dama Platinums, YG, Kobam Sasuko, and BTG, the concert had various Nigerian celebrities in attendance offering goodwill messages to those at home due to the lockdown. In a bit to end world hunger and also extreme poverty, Okoye through One African Music Global Foundation donated $100,000 to an organization dedicated to empowering young people with skills, education, and jobs, thereby achieving their sustainable development goals. In 2015, Okoye was celebrated by Chivas Vigo, who hosted a red carpet event tagged Taste of Luxury in his honor. The dinner had performances by American performers 112, Next, and Jagged Edge and was attended by friends and well wishes, including Aoto Maikori, Maki W, Chidima, Ayo Makon, T.Y. Mix, Tokema Kiwa, and Tools. In 2017, he was celebrated on his golden jubilee anniversary with a cover page issue on Vanguard, the newspaper's lifestyle plot, Hello. In the Head East 2019 Awards, he won the Special Recognition Award. We have come to the end of this episode. Saying congratulations to Yabujo, and we hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.